You're only as weak as your weakest link. Right, welcome back to the channel. And on this episode, we're talking about chains. Everyone knows that e-bikes can eat chains for breakfast. So we're gonna do a deep transmission clean to try and get a few extra miles or a lot of extra miles out of that chain. Riders, I'm super bad at uh, cleaning my bike normally, but one thing I don't neglect is the chain. Like these bikes are super expensive and you know a lot of the e-bikes are running 12 speed transmissions. And look, a chain and a cassette is gonna set you back two, three, 400 euros depending on your spec. So I try and keep my chain as clean as possible and lube it at least once or twice a month. So what tools we're gonna to need? Look, all my friends will back this up. I'm not the greatest mechanic in the world, so if I can do it, you guys can do it too. So look, we're gonna need some Allen keys. Try and not use your multi-tool. Like your multi-tool is just a bit of a pain in the ass. And I actually find if I use the multi-tool, I don't put it back in my riding bag. So Allen keys. You're gonna need a chain whip, cassette tool, and the trusty shifter. And then quick link remover. If you don't own a quick link remover, you can use a shoelace, apparently, on Seth's bike hacks. He says you can, I've tried it. Seth, I'm not sure you can, I, I couldn't get it to work. And you're gonna need some chain lube. Look, we're coming into summer and I'm looking here and I've got pretty much wet. Uh, lube, so I'm gonna get some summer lube. Order that tomorrow. You need some spray degreaser, some liquid degreaser, gloves, a rag, some of your trusty cleaning tools. I kind of like the toothbrush, it works very well. Paper towel, and this is a, a roasting tray, it's quite an old one. Um, we're gonna soak all the parts in here over 24 hours. So that's it, let's get to it. Okay, so the first part we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our quick link remover and we're gonna find the quick link. All modern e-bikes will have a quick link and uh, it's something you wanna have a look at if you don't know what a quick link is and if you don't have a spare one, you shouldn't really reuse a quick link. So go online, order yourself two quick links and if you have 11 speed, get an 11 speed. If you have a 12 speed, get a 12 speed. Take the quick link off. So you get in there and basically all you do is push it together like that. And you hear a little click and it clicks apart. Okay, so you can you reuse them, but I would recommend not reusing them. Okay, so we're gonna grab the chain out of the bike. Okay, now the second part, what you wanna do is you wanna take the cassette off. So, so you grab your chain whip and your your cassette removing tool and your shifter. So what you wanna do is hold the cassette still with the chain whip and push down with your body weight. And to be honest, riders, I've already taken this off because it was quite embarrassing and I didn't wanna have it on the camera. Um, it's quite difficult and maybe I should have put some grease on this last time. Just take off the cassette. Wax that. Oh, let's just take it all off. Oh, it's pretty dirty in there. While you're taking it off, just have a look at the cassette and just see what type of condition it's in. This is actually not too bad. I'm missing a little bit on the on the 46, but everything else looks pretty good. This is like nine months of use. Okay, so now we have the cassette and the chain in our baking tray. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the degreaser. This is spray degreaser, but just gonna actually, it's pretty heavy duty. So I'm just gonna pour it over. I mean, the grease is about 10 bucks a bottle. So I don't really mind using a fair bit of this on my chain because it's probably gonna give me another year out of my chain and cassette, hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, so now we've got a fair bit of degreaser in there. What we want to do is we want to grab some of our cleaning tools and I say a toothbrush is really good for this. What we want to do, maybe let's separate everything to one side and we'll go over 
and we'll just start cleaning that stuff off. So, I'm gonna clean all of that. I'm gonna let mine soak for 24 hours. Well, that's 24 hours later. Well, more or less 24 hours later. I actually left the cassette and the chain soaking for six hours in the degreaser, and then I gave it another scrub, and I cleaned it with hot water, and then dabbed it off with paper to let it dry overnight. And now, you can see, it's super clean. I also cleaned all the derailleur, and uh, cleaned all through the, the front cock here, and uh, de used the spray degreaser to get some of this stuff off. Be careful, I don't actually spray the degreaser directly onto the chain, I put it onto a rag, and then just wipe around it. If you really want to have a go, a good go at it, I actually took the jockey wheels, the jockey wheels are these two wheels on the derailleur, I took these out, and I re-greased them, uh, I packed a bit of grease in there, so I noticed the front one was moving a little bit. Uh, so I've given that all a clean. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the chain back on the derailleur and back on the bike. So you wanna feed it through the little triangle here, and then you wanna come under and over the derailleur and back around. And try and join the link here. It's gonna be the easiest part to do it. It is quite fiddly, and a pro tip for you guys that I sometimes do is I take a little video of how it all goes back together um, before I start, just so I make sure I get it right. Okay, so let's have a go at this. So basically, we wanna go, we wanna get the chain under the derailleur. It is fiddly, but you can, you'll get there, don't worry. So it goes under, and then over the jockey wheels. Okay, so that's, that's in. So we wanna bring this part over the back in the chain, in, in the middle of the back chain stay. Feed, feed the chain back through here. We wanna bring enough slack so we can join it back here together. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, so now that's ready. Now what you wanna do is grab your brand new quick link. Now, if you've got an 11 speed, get an 11 speed quick link. If you've got a 12 speed, get a 12 speed. And I recommend buying a couple, keep a couple spare because they're super handy and they are cheap. Put that like so. Get the other one on the opposite side. It is quite fiddly, but you will get there. Okay, right, so now we've got the, the chain on, the quick link has not closed. Um, I don't have a specific closing tool. I only have the quick link uh, opening tool. And I didn't realize that you need a tool, but it's okay. So we'll get to that after. Now we're gonna put the cassette back on. So what you wanna do is the nuclear looks like it's all the same sort of grooves, but there's one groove that's bigger than all the rest. This is on Shimano. Um, and then you find the bigger groove on everyone else than the other ones, and you put it on like that. And then the first one doesn't need a spacer because there are, spaces for all the other gears but the first one doesn't need it and you also there's writing on the exterior of the cog so this always should be facing out i'm not sure you're supposed to do this but this cassette was incredibly hard to take off um, I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on there and probably someone on the channel is gonna say I'm doing it wrong, but uh, I'd have to say I almost had a hernia getting this off. So um, if it comes loose, I'll just re -talk it. Get your cassette tool, just gently, be careful not to thread it and it just take up the torque. Now this has gotta to be torqued to 40 Newton meters. So I would say that's just bloody tight. I don't have, a torque wrench. So I'm just going to torque it up. And that's tight. Now just have a quick look at the gears to make sure you've got all the spacing right. They should be all even and that's ready to go on your bike. Okay, so the bike is back together. The wheels are back on and it's standing upright. 
Now remember I said we didn't close those quick links. The new quick links from Shimano and SRAM, especially the 11 and 12, Quick links are super hard to get on by hand, but what we can do is use some leverage. So what we're going to do is going to have the quick the quick links here. So what we're what we're looking for, what we're here listening for, is that clicking sound. So what we want to do is we want to mount the bike, put the brakes on, just put some torque through the bike. And you hear that, camera lady? Let's come in for a little close up, and we'll see that quick link has closed right there. So now by inspection, it's closed. I'm gonna use ceramic lubricant. I will probably buy um, some dry lubricant because it's coming into summer, but this is kind of like a mix between both. So this is pretty good. I'm not gonna put that much on. But what I wanna do, I wanna spin the wheel and just go all the way around. Because it's white, you can actually see where you've, where you've got it. Go all the way around. Now, when you get a reasonably clean rag, you don't want to use the rag you've been cleaning your bike with because that's just going to put all the dirt back on it. So get a clean part and just take off the excess. Okay, right, so I hope you like that. So that's basically how to maintain your cassette and your chain. I would probably do this every six months, and if you're riding in winter in pretty nasty conditions, more. Um, these cassettes are expensive, and look, I don't, I, I, I'm the biggest culprit, I don't do it as often as I should, but these are a couple of hundred bucks, and if you do this, it will make your chain last longer. Also, buy that quick link, put it in your wallet, and send me a message when you break your chain on a, on a route and you actually got home okay. Um, that's my first how-to. It was actually quite a lot of work and uh, I, I thank you for watching. I thank my lovely wife for recording and uh, riders, stay safe out there and I'll see you next time.